见冬天的离开，我在某年某月醒过来，我想。You seriously don't understand? She's dating your dad and knows you're his daughter. Why would she admit she used to date a lowly driver and they almost got married? If I were you, I'd pretend not to know her. Why should I pretend about that? My dad is rich and a boss. Doesn't he deserve better than her? I don't know what to say. I know that you two are all well educated and all. But you also need connections. You should also grab this opportunity. Look at that girl. She clearly comes from a very wealthy family. But look, the lace shirt she's wearing looks more like my grandma's curtains than hot couture. Introduce me to her. She desperately needs me in a complete makeover. She's loaded. Let's lighten her load. She'll feel much, she'll feel much better about herself after a makeover. Then she'll introduce more clients to me, who will in turn introduce new clients. By that time, one of you will be like Estee Lauder, and one like Coco Chanel. They're classy, and her business will be great. So you should go tell her that I, a famous stylist, <sighs> and introduce me. Can we just eat in peace? Stop trying to use us as pawns. Oh. 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 oh yeah. Be careful. Why did you leave the hospital if you're still in pain? I was fine before.、Uh, then that evil woman. Made me do a colonoscopy. Miss Tahoe was just being thorough. Don't touch me. What being thorough? She wanted to kill me. Dad, are you really in pain、mm. now? Miss Tahoe told me that I can call her and she looked after you. Oh no. Hmm. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. You don't don't call her. <laughs> don't you deserve it for lying? Who do you think you're talking to, Missy? Huh? Learn from this, Dad. Miss Tahoe taught you a valuable lesson. <laughs> Are you really my daughter? Hmm. She caused me severe pain, but you seem to be happy about it. You're the happy one. Really, you're happier than before. You see, after she taught you this, she's happy, and you're happy too. Why not just enjoy your lesson? <laughs> Beat it. Just enjoy it. Out. I'm leaving. Miss <sighs> Tong, 
I'm in love with this necklace. And why? I've been searching for something as lovely as you. Now I finally found it. Do you know why it's perfect? It makes you look more feminine. More like a real woman. More beautiful. And more elegant. Mmm, just perfect. You like it? Miss Ho, is that right? Call me Peter. Steve. According to what you said, aren't you implying Miss Tong isn't feminine enough without it? Do you think it's necessary for her to wear a necklace to prove she's a woman? Peter, may I take a closer look? How much is it? Eighteen grand. Oh. Peter, based on my past experience, this necklace is a knockoff. Can you explain to us both exactly why Miss Tongue would pay 18000 for a fake necklace instead of buying a real necklace? He's pretentious, don't you think? What do you know about fashion? You're covered in black. You don't look cool. Huh? I think he looks fine. His cufflinks are modeled after Tianlong era relics, right? Outdated relics. Then he's vintage, right? Retro style, don't you agree? Peter, you still didn't answer my question. Have you heard of Coco Chanel? A French avant-garde designer. The founder of the Chanel the brand. Do you know what she told people? She said when you want to wear fabulous real jewelry, make it look fake. And when you wear fake, make it look like the real thing. If one day you give me a Hermes necklace that was fake and I couldn't tell, then you've won. Okay, Peter. So then, according to what you just said, I should go purchase hundreds of counterfeit necklaces just like yours on the street, but yet I still don't think they would cost 18000 don't you agree? Come on in. Mr. Chi, your friend. Master Tao! <laughs> please come in. Thanks hello, for coming. Hello. Oh, please sit down. Hey, this is Master Tao, the marvelous psychic I told you about. Master mm. Tao. And this is... Tang Hong. Miss Tang. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ah, please take a seat. Hey, I have a vacant house relatively near my villa. No one lives there right now. Would you like to live there yourself for free? Uh, no, thanks. I rather like my current place. Besides, I've already paid one year's rent in advance. And one of my friends lives with me right now. If I suddenly moved out, she'd be upset. Ah, uh, okay. Fine, that's okay. I was just thinking. It'd be easier to live by the <laughs> office. <laughs> How about I hire a driver? Uh, it's pretty convenient to take the subway to get here. <laughs> hmm. I've told you my life. So what's your impression of me? Clearly... Your entertaining stories all highlight your good qualities, they but do? what about your bad qualities? Huh? <laughs> I mean, you can't be perfect, right? Uh, of course I'm not. Of course. I'll tell you. Some of my imperfections, no problem. But my primary imperfection is obvious. I'm not as attractive as you are. Am I right? <laughs> Show me all. Show me all. What's wrong? Uh, could you give me some water? Dad, aren't you bored of staying at home all day long? I'm not bored. I'm relaxed. It's what life should be like. My stomach's full. I'm watching TV. This is exactly how to enjoy life, yeah? <laughs> Are you serious? This isn't enjoying life. You said before that I would end up with a life like this, just like an annoying parasite, without any goals. Who says that I don't have goals? 
I've broken my back for so many years now. I almost never took a break. Honey, could you get a blanket from my room for me? I should keep warm, or else I'll catch a cold when I sleep. Uh. Here you are. Oh, great. Let me enjoy this for a bit. Get the remote for me. This program is lame. Oh, it's my phone. Can you bring me my phone? Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. I'm going to Spanish class. Goodbye. Bye. Be careful on the way. Hey. I'm at home. Is she a complete idiot or what? How could Tong Hong date a scammer like him? That's insane. He hired a stupid fortune teller today to tell Tong Hong that he was her match. The fortune teller must have concluded with him. Being weird is one thing, but this is getting ridiculous. Hey, Tong Hao. I'm at home. What is it? Young Shu, we've got a situation. Miss Tong just met a fortune teller who told her that she has to hand over the business ASAP, or else there will be a disaster. <laughs> or to avoid disaster, she could just get married soon. Miss Tong made an announcement just now that Chi Jin Jun would start his new position today. Ridiculous. Marry the con man? Are you sure? But, but, but Miss Tong wouldn't believe that. <laughs> I think she's seriously crazy. Did you hear? If she does this, Miss Tong will lose everything to this scumbag. Tong Hong's too gullible. How could she do He's this? He's an expert swindler. He really is. Maybe we should call the police. You call. Why would I call? You, sh you should call the police. Y you're her driver. Miss Yang, you busy? We should talk. About what? Let's find a quiet place, say a coffee shop, and sit there and have a good chat. I really don't like coffee. Here is fine. Let's just talk here. Okay. I hope you don't mind, but I'm straightforward. And I know that sometimes it perhaps offends people. In the past, if I said something wrong or maybe did something that offended you, forgive me. Is that it? Okay, got it. Wait. In fact, there is something else. I... Just make it quick. What is it? <laughs> then I'll just say it. I know a very rich boss. He was a classmate of mine from the MBA days. Now he's looking for a skillful and trustworthy driver. Someone with lots of... experience. So of course I thought of you. I'm sure that your pay will be doubled. <laughs> really? But I'm happy right here. Thanks. Mr. Yang, actually, that's not exactly what I wanted to say. In our company, many employees talk about you behind your back. They often talk about you. Did you know that? And what are they saying? You and Miss Tang. Hey, Roman Khan, don't be mad. I don't believe what they say. We've all talked about people behind their backs. We're all human. Clearly it's untrue. Miss Tung will marry me. <laughs> Miss Tung will make it official soon. And she also told me nothing happened between you guys before, and I believe her. What did you say? Take it easy, Mr. Young. Don't take it to heart that people gossip. I told you this because I thought you should know. I was looking out for you. Not about that. What did you just say now? Which part? Marriage. <sighs> Miss Tung has decided to marry me. And the car you use is mine. That's the wedding gift that she gave me. Miss Young, I think you should take the new job.
Miss Tong. Looking for her? Technically, this is my office now. <sighs> Miss Young, hold on. Our company is going to need a complete transformation. Everything I said in the parking lot was just me trying to help you out. If you can't handle the new changes, it's best if you leave the company. What did you just say? I'm the head manager in charge of the business. So I have this authority. You can resign and keep your dignity. Or you'll be fired. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. Get out. You're fired. Get out right now. wrong. I'm not deaf, you know. You almost gave me a heart attack right now. Why aren't you at the office? Didn't feel like it. I want to take a vacation to enjoy my last single days. You know, when life gives you lemons, it's just fake telling you to make lemonade. Life is about having fun and relaxing. So I've left my company to Jian Jun to manage. Was it your idea to have him fire me? Did he really fire you? He told me about something, an employee reshuffle or something, but I didn't know he'd fire you so quickly. Never mind, I'll talk to him about the whole thing. Don't worry, you can keep driving as his driver. No way. Don't beg him for me. If I have to drive for him, well, I'd rather quit. I'll gladly quit. I'm worried about you. Why are you worried? Look, can you still tell the difference of who is good to you and who is not? And who's cheating you? Who is cheating me? You're really getting married? I am. With Chi Jun. That's right. But why him? Because that's what normal women do. They get married. I'd like to... Get married. But you can't just grab a random guy on the street and get married to him now, can you? He's not a random guy. Compared to my family, my grandparents, I've been very selective. My grandma and grandpa never met. Their parents arranged their marriage. But they loved each other and spent their whole lives with each other. They loved each other. Fine, fine, fine. fine. Don't change the subject. Focus on him right now. How long have you known this PhD joker? Even if he's not scamming you, you should learn Don't more you know, about him. Don't you there's no connection between the quality of the marriage and how long the couple knew each other. Xu Hui and you were in love before, but now you're divorced. And my parents, their parents, chose who they married. They never met, they married, and they were great. It worked with your parents, but it won't with him. What's so bad about Qi Jianjun? If you're desperate to get married, I'm a better choice. You're a better choice than him. Yeah. Who do you think you are? You think I'm your possession? Why should I choose you? Give me a good reason. Why should I be with you? You want to marry me? I did. Not long after we had first met, I wanted to. But Shumiao was so small, so I said nothing. Because I told Shumiao that her mother would come back. 
She believed her mom would come back someday. The three of us would be a family again. I didn't have a chance to tell you after that. But all those years, I took care of Shumiao and you, okay? I took you to all sorts of grocery stores and supermarkets around town to sell your diapers. You remember? I told you to try the nursing home. It was my idea to go there. Sometimes I charged you a fare, sometimes I didn't take your money. You know why I didn't take it? Because I had feelings for you. You get it now? And ages ago, during a cold winter, Remember you rented a small apartment with a coal burner? You called me for help. I could barely hear you and knew it was serious, maybe sulfur dioxide poisoning. I rushed to your place driving through red lights and I broke in and carried you to a hospital. You were there for three days. The doctor told me that the most serious problem, mental illness, or maybe you'd be mute. I thought about it and I decided if that happened, I'd have you quit your job, and I'd take care of you at home. When you asked me if I had feelings for you, I wasn't sure that you meant these feelings. <clears throat> and then what? And then your business took off so suddenly, and before long, you became a millionaire. I was still a driver. I couldn't tell you this. So I kept it in. I just wanted you to be happy. When I see you every day, it puts my mind at ease. If someday you're mad or unhappy or even sad, I can't sleep well at night because I keep thinking who offended you, who made you sad. You've kept this secret in your heart for 10 years. You've hidden your feelings from me for years. Yeah. Are you proposing to me right now? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to think about it. Can you give me some time? To think? Is there something else? If not, then maybe you should go. How, lo how long do you need to think about it? You've secretly loved me for about 10 years, right? You're clearly a patient kind of man. What about Chi Jun? Did you propose because you love me or because you don't want me to marry Chi Jang Jun? If I didn't have feelings for you, why would I care about him? Because you're a good man. You rescue people. You help them out. Can you tell the difference between just compassion and real love? You've been good to me all these years, but you're nice to a lot of people. You don't have family at the nursing home, but you treat them like family. Do you like me like you like them? But It seems the way you care about me is more like how a father loves his daughter or like a brother. When Shumiao wanted to leave with Gao Xiaojun and you said she couldn't go with him, you tried everything to stop him. I don't care about you like a father, and I give all of myself to you. I genuinely like you. Can't you feel it? Why yell at me? Are you trying to scare me? Just keep it down. You told me you want to marry me, so go home. I promise I'll think about it. I can't let another man hurt you, okay? It breaks my heart when you cry. I can't let you be cheated by him. When you have bad days, I feel even worse than you. I'm connected to you. And if he hurts you, he's hurting me too. You get it? So what? Just stop yelling at me. Stop yelling.
so sweet. A man secretly loving a woman for years. It's so touching. Oh, yeah, yeah. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue on. <laughs> that what you wanted? Not even close. But he proposed to you. I don't want to accept his proposal that fast. Right. A woman should be hard to get. The problem is, Young Shu is a lot dumber than we think. When you play hard to get, he'll start to think you don't like him. Then it will feel like you guys being in a crowd and can't meet. Forget it, forget it. Let's just get them together first. You'll be together, that's what matters. It doesn't feel right. He kept talking so loudly about how he felt, but he didn't say that he loved you. Can you just give the guy a break already? Did you come here to cause trouble? His love was implied. I don't think you should accept his proposal. Until he comes with roses and gets down on one knee. He should get down on both knees. Dad, I just had a great idea. Everyone knows that I'm leaving. You can use it as an excuse. Stop pacing back and forth. Can't you see I'm watching TV? Just let me finish. Don't interrupt me again. You can throw a party and invite her out to sing. And then you choose that one song, I love you more than I can say. Yeah? Give me my phone. Hello? Hey, hello? Who's this? Oh. All right, all right. I'll be right there. I'll be there soon. Where are you going? I'm not finished yet. Okay, you take care of planning the party and stuff. But I don't think having it at a karaoke place is good enough. Choose a really fancy restaurant. Why not a candlelit dinner? Something classic and romantic. Figure something out good, okay? Where are you going? Why so mysterious? I need to go out. To go where? I'll be back soon. When will you come back? <laughs> he sings terribly. <laughs> yeah. Is she your friend? Yeah. She's hammered. What happened? No idea. Where are her friends? She came alone. Hey. Why did you come here to drink alone? Huh? You're what happened? You're finally here, Yang Shu. All right. Let's go. Don't lie on the couch. Come on, let's go. Okay? Mm, where are we going? Come on. Oh. You okay? Huh? You okay? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, hey. uh, help me get up. Be careful. The car's over uh, there. Come on. Be careful. Young okay? Shu. Uh, huh? Do you think yeah. Meng Lai's high is the one? You got yourself drunk over that uh, question? Just let it go. Mm, Be careful. Mm -hmm. We're over there. Young Shu. Huh? What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you with her? She's really drunk. Called me just now, so I... Mr. Monk. Well, I, I... I really didn't get her drunk. I... I just came to help her out. That's the truth. I'll take care of her now. I got you. I got you now. Purse. Yeah, take sure. purse. You're fine, Mr. Monk. I didn't have any drinks with her. Lie down. Go on. She was drunk when she called me. Shut up. And asked me to pick her up. You came here to drink with his girlfriend after proposing to me. I didn't, I swear. You did, I saw you too. I caught you two right on the spot. You say one thing, but do another. Don't deny it. How could you? You're such a hypocrite. A liar. No, I'm not. This is horrible. I shouldn't have helped you with this. I know. <sighs> I feel guilty as well. He deserves it. He lied to me for so long. Who? Huh? You mean Young Shu? Oh, no. <laughs> Shh. 
。如果不是灯光一盏，是否还沉溺在过去？尘世间还没有曙光，先把那回忆全收藏。于是你。成了心中唯一的墙、嗯嗯。时间变成遗憾的温床，在脑海肆意的生长，梦有时走得太匆忙，会让人迷失了方向。男人的肩膀扛多少累的重量？谁懂我？不懂伪装。Hey, you're awake. Hmm. Where are you going so early? I've got something to do. Hey, I was told you sold worthless jars of expensive face cream to Tong Hong. Is that true? I wouldn't say they're worthless. It was a fair business transaction. Here's something you should know: it takes blood, sweat, and tears to succeed, unless you're somewhat creative. If you know what I mean. Very creative. Is that a quote? Karl Marx. Okay, are you saying that? You earned all your money by taking advantage of others' blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Should I spell it out for you? We were not born with a silver spoon in our mouth. Some people have rich family or some good connections, but we have to start from scratch, don't we? But we have dreams too. The end justifies the means, and do what you have to do to succeed, no matter what happens. Huh? But how did you get her to believe you? Teach me your tricks, master. Teach me. <laughs> Ding Jing, would you please help me explain to Tong Hong what exactly happened last night? I have night? no idea. I was completely wasted. Impossible. How could you forget everything that happened? You gave me a call. I'm sorry. Said... I really can't remember anything. Yang Shu, why are you here, Mr. Mong? Are you harassing my employee in my office? Huh? No, I wasn't. I just wanted her to. The、uh, reporter has already arrived. Take care of him for me, please. Okay. Good. Wait. Don't bother. Okay. I've been there before. Look, it's fine. You're single. She's no, single. No, I nothing get it. happened. Nothing. Let me finish. I understand. I was married. One's life is long and slow. I think it's only natural that we develop feelings for people along the way. But look, buddy, Tung Hung and I saw you use her car to pick up another girl who was drunk. Huh? You can't deny that you did that, right? I have to say, you've got a lot of nerve. You tried to get Jing Jing completely drunk, and then you were putting her into your car. What were you planning to do with her after that? If she wasn't cognitive, it's a crime. Just let me explain. I swear on, I swear on my life, Mr. Mong. She got drunk on her own and don't, called me. Don't, don't explain. Don't bother. But look here, you're in deep doo-doo right now. There's only one way out of this. Go to Tung Hong's place ASAP and beg her to forgive you for this huge mess. You'll have to fix this all on your own. Oh, and Yong Shu, let's be clear about another thing. Oh. You need to stay away from me, okay? You're always up in my space. I don't like it. Just keep away. At first, I liked Tong Hong, and you got in my way, kicked me out of the picture. Now I just started, and here you are again. Yeah, I'm serious, Mr. Mong. Keep your distance from me in the future, or else. Just give me a break. Can you do that? Let Let me explain, Mr. Mong. Quit making I didn't get her excuses.、Drunk. Don't even bother. Did you not hear what I said? Get over to Tong Hong's place ASAP. You owe her an explanation. Hurry up! Don't waste any time. Run! Hurry up! That's what really happened. If I'm lying about this, then I'll go to hell. You have to know if a girl calls you when she's drunk, it means she feels you are her man, or that you two. She really didn't call me. It was the waiter at the bar. 
And how did he choose your number out of all her numbers? She made a shortcut for my number. All he had to do was press one. One. Number one. Come on. Why don't you trust what I'm saying? It really was the waiter who called me. He told me to pick her up over the phone. What was I supposed to do? I can't just not help the girl. Who is number one on your phone? Shumiao. Young Shumiao. You want to try? And mine is two. <laughs> well, that's accurate. You're number two. I guess I am. I am your second love. I thought from the bottom of your heart that you had feelings for me and loved me. If I felt sad, it would break your heart more than it would break mine. That's true love. Must be true. Two. Yes, I'm his second. Two. Hello, Tianjin. Cut off. I'll call him back. If I change you to number one. Whatever, Tianjun. What happened just now? What surprise? Okay. No, I can't guess. Tell me. <laughs> that sounds great. What kind of clothes should I wear? Okay, just wait for me there. I'll be there very soon. I think you should get going. I need to leave. Well, I've, I've explained everything. Can you just believe it's the truth? And why should I trust you about this? Fine, believe what you want. You'll discover the truth soon enough. So, are you going places? I'm going to some big party, I guess. Chi Jianjun is going to introduce his family to me. As the very old saying goes. Men need a career, and a woman needs love. As another old saying goes, you can't undo what you did. You'll regret, but still you get the experience. That's what Tian Jun told me. That's really complete nonsense. Yeah, you make mistakes, but you can also avoid them. Once you choose a wrong path in life, you'll regret it. In my next life, if I still know you, we'll be together forever. Although. It was just one postcard. Do you like this dress? Don't go. Did he cast a spell on you? Romance spell. I need to change. Why are you still here? I was being tested for a driving license for the first time. I was almost beginning to enjoy my test. The examiner must have been pleased with my performance, for he smiled and said. I continued driving, and after some time, the examiner tapped loudly, and said, "You did well, but we have to go through the obstacle course again, because you did not stop at the red light." I was disappointed to hear this, but we went back again anyways. Do you need my help? Okay, practicing. Just spit it out. What do you want? Do you need my help? You're responsible for all the trouble that I'm in. I'm what trouble? I'm responsible for what? You're always telling me that Tong Hong likes me. I、mm. should, I should man up and tell her my feelings. Yesterday I told her, and she said she'd think about it. Was that a polite rejection or what? Then guess what? Last night I got a phone call from guess who.、Mm. A waiter at some karaoke bar who said Gu Jingjing was completely drunk and I should go there. 
pick her up. So I went there. So is that what happened last night? No wonder you were in such a rush after that call. The waiter's the one who said that. Mm. She was really in bad shape. And to come quick. If I didn't go, who knows what could have happened to her, right? Uh, did something else happen then? Did you guys fool around? You little brat. I'm a man of integrity, okay? <laughs> Where did you learn this phrase? What phrase? What do you mean by fool around? I picked it up from a book, all right? And there's more. Wine brings love to light. Romance sparks at night. Shall fade on. 